My name is Haley Huber and I work for Fish ID as a biological science assistant and then in the field season I'm actually a senior technician. So we're marking Chinook today. We're at Oxbow Hatchery and we're doing a project right now of about a little under a million and a half fish and so this should be our last week here we're getting the job done. We've been here for two and a half weeks. So we're adipose clipping all the fish, and then we have two tag groups of 30,000 that are getting coated wire tags. So we, at this operation, we have a fish pump, which is really convenient. We don't have to hand net all the fish from the pond into the trailer, which we do at some hatcheries. So here we have a fish pump. We're pumping from one pond into the trailer, and then our stock tank inside the trailer has its own fish pump, which pumps the fish up into what we call the sorter. And within the sorter, we have two cameras that measure the fish down to the tenth of a millimeter. And then those fish are sent to one of our six individual lines within the trailer. And each line is set up for a specific size fish, a certain range of lengths. And so when it goes to that size line, then it can fit through the channels and it gets held in place and the fin gets clipped, all really smooth really easy on the fish and we can run really fast and depending on which trailer we're running and how the fish are moving you know sometimes we can mark anywhere from five to nine thousand fish an hour you know we can produce a bunch of fish at each hatchery but if we can't mark them all we can't release them so it just helps us get more done for mark selected fisheries these marked fish are the fish you get to keep so when we get them marked and marked properly that's more fish that you guys can keep when you're out fishing so that's another reason we have the Mark Selected Fisheries is so that we're not putting too much stress on the wild population of salmon and steelhead here in the Northwest. So just good, accurate marking programs help us manage more effectively. So we still do quite a bit of marking by hand. Um, some hatcheries just aren't set up very well for auto fish. They need certain electrical requirements and things like that to run these trailers, or they just don't have enough fish to make it worth the time for the trailer to go there. Um, so a lot of times, and some hatcheries have a combination of both. So like for Bonneville, for, for instance, we do quite a few manual marking jobs and auto fish jobs. So in the manual marking trailers, it's a similar looking trailer from the outside, but inside, instead of having six, five or six lines for auto fish, it's individual stations where people stand, anesthetize, and hand clip each fish.